What's up guys, my name is JD Cook 5 and welcome back to another episode of the Levante Career Mode. We go straight in with a simulation against Mallorca at home and we do get the 2-1 win. Nice to be able to get straight off the bat and be able to get the 3 points. Confirmation of another manager of the month for December there, so nice to be able to get that with 4 matches being played, 2 wins, 1 draw and 1 loss. Not too bad whatsoever. Confirmation of Prima going on loan and Traveres going on loan also. Omdenbele saying that he's happy getting the game time which is nice to see and hopefully he can improve from here on. We are now in the January transfer window so it is time to look for next season also and try to snap up a few kind of bargains on a pre-contract. Our first player we are going in for is the Arsenal man Nicolas Pepe. Really good signing this would be and maybe in the future we will be able to integrate him in that way and maybe a few others may exit at the same time. He is at 28 now but he is at decent kind of stats as well so I'm not too fussed about age. He is on a, he is on a high wage but obviously that is expected with this sort of player. Happy to be able to get him though and it's definitely a step up especially if we're going to get European football next season. So that is confirmation to say that Nicolas Pepe will be a Levante player next season. The next player I found that was running out of contract was Koke from Atletico Madrid. He's been there for many years now, but obviously he might be coming to the end of his career being the age of 31. He's still at decent stats and an overall 82 rated. I was very happy to snap him up. A lot of experience there will be in the side and it will be a decent replacement for Hamsik when he does go. Really happy to add him to the squad. The last player was Diallo from PSG, another player that's got a very vast amount of experience and he is decent in the game. About a £20 million player, be able to pick him up for free. Obviously, again, the high wages, but I'm not too fussed about that and I'm able to sign him. Three really big names in this time round and a lot of them aren't coming to the end of their career anytime soon in that way. I think the only one that was a little bit older was Koke, but I'm not too fussed about that. We get a transfer offer for De Frutos. It did, did take me some time, but I do reject that in the end. I'm not interested at the moment. Maybe next season. I know he hasn't done the well this season, but I think next season we might look at it and go from there. We go into a game against Girona and our lineup is Cagneres in goal with Gallardo, Kulusinic, Conte and Sriracha at your back four. Hamsik, Scott and Peplu as your midfield three and your front attacking three was Afif, Muriel and Nusa. Never played against Girona, I saw they had a decent side and had the veteran in Stuani so I wanted to start well. They get a corner in the seventh minute that I'm able to clear in the end. Nusa picks the ball up and finds Hamsik that is able to drive out the area and gain some space. He's able to pick out Muriel with a over to top ball he chests it down and picks it up so nicely and he hits it with his left and he smashes it into the right hand corner to make it 1-0 inside nine minutes really well worked goal and it was really nice of him to be able to pick it up the way he did really difficult in that situation when you've got the defender pressuring you but it was a very well worked goal and a very good goal at that in the 16th minute we do get a nice bit of play with Noosa making a 1-2 his pace is far better than the defender and he is able to find the back of the net to make it 2-0 inside 17 minutes really fast start and a really good flurry of play in between didn't take us long to get the second goal straight after the first and we gained a lot of momentum there and we seem to be dominating the game in the 32nd minute they do get a goal kick that I'm able to intercept from the midfield park we do be able to find Muriel at the end and yeah what, what a finish another cheeky chip as I like to say and he finds the back of the net to make it 3-0 inside 33 minutes up to the camera there celebrating and why not because that is an excellent finish the way he anticipates the ball and he doesn't even take a touch on it he just dinks it with his left and the keeper is left rooted and only to look behind him to see that the ball is in the back of the net in the second half, Girona start a little bit better and they're able to go and get a bit of a consolation goal there, I'd probably say. Stuani rolling back the years and he does find the back of the net to make it 3-1 inside the 57th. Obviously, I wasn't too fast that they scored. I'd like to keep a clean sheet, but it was one of them. In the 68th minute, they do a bit more pressure here and if it wasn't for Al Yamit clearing it there, they would have found themselves really back into the game and only one goal to get. They don't do much in the rest of the second half and we do get a lucky break near to the end with them being so forward. Noose is able to find the ball from a nice pass from Muriel and he cuts inside the defender and finesses it on his left round the keeper to make it 4-1 and that is game over. Really nice goal from him and a very well played game from him also. Two goals inside that match and it was a nice one to finish off with all 
also. Really solid performance against Girona and a dominating one at that. Two goals from two players each to make it four. And yeah, a dominating performance. The only thing I'd say was a shame not to get the clean sheet. Good to be able to go on from that game onwards. Obviously, previous episode, we did struggle in a few games, so we are gaining a bit of momentum by gaining some wins there. Noose is saying that he's happy to be able to be in the starting eleven, and he has been proved to be really good at the moment. We had an approach made for Roberto Firmino with his contract running out because we only previously signed him on a year deal. We do look into kind of signing him up just for another year. I feel like he's got a lot to give still with this team and I feel like he's been monumental in our success recently. We are able to sign him up on a £70,000 a week deal, declining from the 90000 he was previously on. Pet Blue wants to another have a wants another wage increase. He's only on ten grand as of the moment, and he is very much one of the star players in the side. He's demanding twenty three and a half thousand pound a week, which I was happy to give. Obviously, it was a little bit more than I expected, but to be honest, with the player that he is, he has been doing so well for us recently, and I feel like he's grown into the team much more and gained a very high overall. Our next game was against Sevilla, with a new signing made for them, with Raspadori coming from Napoli to play for Seville now a strong a strong side that we've played a few times in the series now previously in the second division in the cup and obviously in this season away from home we have the lineup of Danny Guderas, Ingal, Garrado, Ondombele, Aoyamik and Williams as your back four Vargas, Cherky and Lavia as your midfield three and then your front three of Isawaku Firmino and Nusa keeping his place in the side also we don't start the game too well whatsoever and in the third minute they gain a bit of momentum here. Nice bit of pressure from Irigate and he is able to find, uh, I think that's a Kuna, yeah a Kuna and he just smashes it into the net. Not a lot I could have done there, really annoyed to be able to accept them sort of passes in my own area but yeah, it's one of those. I was hoping to start a bit better after that goal but unfortunately they just get straight back to me and they do make it 2-0. Really poor start from us and we just don't really seem to get into it. We do get a nice goal with Noosa there though. It's nice to see him back on the score sheet in the 28th minute. Nice bit of pace being able to beat the defenders there and he slots it into the bottom corner to make it 2-1. I felt like after scoring that goal I might get a bit more into it and see how we go from there. That wasn't to be unfortunately in the 33rd minute. Omdombele makes a stupid mistake and Raspadori gets the debut of Dreams and to make it 3-1 for Sevilla. Really stupid goal to concede to be honest. Omdombele just doesn't clear it, doesn't stand his ground and we find ourselves 3-1 down. Things went from bad to worse and Toram showed us completely up there with a stupid goal. Really well worked in all honesty and yeah it was a good goal but it was just idiotic to concede in all honesty. Really poor defending and yeah we just don't seem to gain any sort of momentum or anything in this game because we start the second half exactly the same. Another chip over Danny Caderas and he's getting made to look silly in this game. We find ourselves 5-1 down in the 47th minute and enough was enough. I quick simmed it in the end losing 6-2 unfortunately but yeah it was a... Definitely one to take on the chin and hopefully move from there. I, I wasn't willing to play the game straight after, so we do have a simulation again in Espanyol. We do get a 2-0 win, but doesn't really make it as much better because, yeah, that 6-2 that six, that six win, was uh, that was hurtful. That was bad. But hopefully we can bounce back in the cup now, a little bit of change of scenery, but we do have a big opponent in Barcelona, someone that I wasn't expecting to meet so early in, in the cup, and it's definitely a big performance. In the previous episode, we played them, and it came to 5 all, so we know what they're capable of and they're definitely able to score goals. We have Danny Caderas in goal with Williams, Conti, Kolasinac and Aaron as your back four. Peplu and Hamzik as your midfield, um, and Cherky sorry, as your midfield three. And then we have Afif, Grant and Noosa as your front three. Grant coming in now as well also because I don't feel like Firmino has been doing as well. Um, just to change it up a little bit. We do get a nice break in the fifth minute there. Noosa is able to find Williams. Williams finds Shirkin. and you can see Grant running into the box. Dinks it first time with his head and he's able to wrong side it off to Sagan and he finds the back of the net to make it 1-0 just inside six minutes. Really fast start from us and it was really well worked at the same time. Being able to have it from the wing back to the winger and then pushing it over to the midfield to the Grant to be in the striker was really good goal. Unfortunately it didn't last too long and Danny Caderas is just getting chipped like anything. Um, unfortunately another goal conceded by a chip and really well worked goal. Unfortunately he'd forced the move in that way and then we had to come out for it. Wasn't saying that we could really do and then we just kept accepting the pressure there. You can see Caderas makes a nice save there but I think we do get to it with a kind of clearance off the line. 
We don't start the second half too well and we get a lot of pressure there. Danny Cadera is having to make a few big saves. They pass it short from the corner not being so aware. Unfortunately they're able to get it out to the midfield area. Pass it to Lewandowski and he once again finds the back of the net to make it 2-1 for Barcelona. If it wasn't Torres last episode, it's now Lewandowski this episode. Unfortunately, I couldn't seem to get anywhere near him. After conceding, we make a substitution with Grant coming off. A good goal, but unfortunately not too much impact in the end. Vargas comes on and Scott comes on also. After conceding that second goal, I had some fire in my belly here. I started the kickoff really well. Afif is able to turn Kounde, who mistimes the challenge and completely allows him a load of space. He finesses it into the back of the net to make it 2-2 just inside 60 minutes. Really well worked goal, really well done from Afif. Being able to kind of fool Kounde and he makes him go into that challenge and just allows the space to be able to find the back of the net was really well done. We could have gone 3-2 up here in the 72 minute. Firmino is in on goal. I thought he was going to score it. He was the one for the job. But unfortunately, he just doesn't even get it on target. Complete cross, of, like the ball goes across the face of goal and nothing happens. Being 2-2 at the 90th minute, we do go into extra time. We do get a chance in the 95th minute, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately, and Stegen saves. Not a lot happened in extra time, and unfortunately, the only one thing that means, and that is penalties. Didn't sure what I was, to be honest, didn't know what to do. I don't have many good penalty takers in the side compared to what they have, and it was all about keeping your nerve and going from there. As you can see, unfortunately the footage corrupted for the penalty shootout, but we do catch the fourth penalty with Firmino converting it. I miss one, they miss one, so if they scored this, obviously they would have been alright. But they do, they do miss it, they do miss it, and Danny Caderas is the hero of the game. He saved one penalty during the shootout, but this one was the most important one ever more. And he just goes to show you how good he is at saving penalties. This man has been with us through thick and thin and we have played him for pretty much most games. That I think every game that we've actually played in this series, which is quite mental. A really good save from him. He makes himself big, dives the right way and sticks that kind of left hand out. And yeah, unbelievable save. And that puts us through to the next round of the cup. Looking at the table at the end of the episode now, you can see we've played 22, won 15, drawn 3 and lost 4. Currently on 48 points with 2 points away from Atletico and Barcelona. Far off with Sevilla now, so again it's just about the top 3, really close and obviously we have many games left to be able to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button for when I do release another video. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.